Good evening, Faith Chapel family. I miss you guys already, and we haven't even missed a service. Um, so as I mentioned earlier via text, we are going to be canceling family night services for the next few weeks, and we will reevaluate re once we get there. Um, Sunday mornings, we were going, um, we talked to the governor's office today, and the governor's office actually told us that the mandates are not placed upon religious facilities. And so, really, there's nothing stopping us from having services, um, but President Trump did ask for a 15-day um, quarantine or a 15-day of dissolving anything in public. And so we are going to go ahead and abide by that and take two Sundays off and then evaluate again what we need to do from there. So with that, um, Pinewood Derby, which was supposed to be March 28th, will now be postponed. Um, it will not be canceled, but it will be postponed. <clears throat> I want you to understand, as we have made this decision, we have prayed over this, and you guys know me, I hate canceling service. This is not something I want to do ever. Um, I truly believe that the church is better together, um, but in these difficult situations, we have to do difficult things. And so I want you guys to know that we have put a lot of prayer into this, and this was not an easy decision to make. We have consulted the board. They have prayed. I have prayed. And this is the conclusion that we have come to for right now. Please understand we did not make this decision out of fear. There is no fear whatsoever in our hearts. But this is really to protect those around us. Um, we, don't, we definitely don't want anybody coming to our church and getting sick or anything like that. And um, we just want to make sure that we do what's best for everybody. We, I also want to mention to you to continue to please be a good steward and choose to, choose to give your tithes even though you won't be in the building. We will be posting a comment in the, in the link that is being posted tonight and it will have the way to text to give or you can even mail your tithe or offering into the church. 840 North Metcalf, or there's another way that you can give, and that's just by going through your bank and setting it up to automatically give if you know what you're going to make each week. And so we ask you to, to be faithful in your giving. Um, we are still going to be working. We're going to be putting together a service. As I mentioned, um, services will be online for Sunday, and we're going to have worship for that service, and we're also going to have preaching. And so we are still going to be doing things. And there's going to be ways that we can help in our community. Um, as you know, the schools have been canceled for the rest of the school year. But breakfast and lunches are still going to be um, needed for these kids. And so we're going to have opportunity to possibly serve our community and maybe even deliver some breakfast and some lunches to the kids that are at home that do not have access to that. So please, I will be keeping you posted on that. Please be considering if you can help with that. The last thing I want to say is please pray. In, this, in these difficult times, prayer is vital. And as you know, we're still in the midst of our prayer and fasting time. I don't believe that's, there's any coincidence with that. I believe that there's a purpose and a reason why we're, we are praying and why we are fasting during this time. Because we are better prepared for when things like this happen. And it helps us to know that God is in control. We aren't, we aren't fearful. We aren't wondering what's going to happen. We know that Jesus is on the throne. And that's not going to change. And so I encourage you today to not fear over this, over this coronavirus or COVID-19. But to know that Jesus is in control. He's on the throne. He is still our healer. This is not a death sentence if it does happen to somebody. But it is something we can pray for and we can believe God to remove this from our nation. So, I just want to say I love you and I look forward to seeing you very, very soon. Um, but until then, please pray, seek God, stay in your word, and keep loving people. I love you all. Have a great night.